Jordan, you're on. Okay, everybody ready? Morning, everybody. My name is Jordan Lane. I'm a City of Ryde councillor, the Liberal candidate for Ryde, uh, and someone who was born at this very hospital. We're here to announce a very exciting commencement of works, $479 million uh, redevelopment of Ryde Hospital. I'm here with the Premier, Minister for Health, uh, the local member for Ryde, Victor Dominello, uh, and of course, of course, Heather Goff from the Ryde Hospital General Manager. It's a very exciting day for Ryde. And with that, I'll hand to the Premier to say a bit more about the announcement. Thank you all. Uh, well, thanks, Jordan. Today's a very exciting day for the Ryde community uh, as we announce and release uh, the designs um, of this new hospital. Uh, this is a hospital that I know uh, the current local member, Victor Dominello, uh, for many years uh, has been championing. It's one that's very close to my heart. My daughter Amelia was born here. Uh, five of my children have had the care of the Ride midwives uh, who do an amazing job providing care and love uh, for many young mums uh, across uh, this lovely community. Um, we are building more hospitals uh, than ever before in our state's history. Um, since coming to office, 180 health projects uh, and currently 130 underway. Uh, and Ride will be a crucial component um, of the strongest health system anywhere in the country. Uh, other states would dream to be building the hospitals that we are right here in the great state of New South Wales. $12 billion, $12 billion in capital infrastructure here in New South Wales, and this development uh, will provide care, support for people in this local community and make a real difference. It's a game changer uh, for health care uh, in this community. Um, I know too well uh, the importance uh, that this development will have um, for many, many families, um, and that means more beds, uh, a new ICU, new emergency department, uh, and new operating theatres. Uh, this will provide the best health care that the community of Ryde has ever had, um, and I want to thank particularly the Health Minister uh, for the investment and the advocacy that he's had, but particularly as well uh, Victor Dominello, because I remember uh, in my previous role as Treasurer, uh, Victor knocking on the door uh, every day. Uh, talking about the importance um, of this development. We have a great health team here uh, at Ride Hospital. And when you see the pictures behind me, when you see the new designs, I think uh, this will certainly be a game changer for healthcare. And it forms part um, of the significant health capital infrastructure program that we have right across the state. The other point I'd make uh, is the jobs that come through construction. Uh, the infrastructure investment in this state, whether it's schools, roads, public transport, hospitals, it's driving significant jobs growth and economic growth. Well, hundreds of hundreds of jobs on this project. It'll make a real difference, not just during construction, but ultimately the end of it. We don't build these hospitals for the sake of it. We build it to provide the, to have the best health care for our people right across New South Wales. I now pass the minister. Thanks very much, Premier and Jordan. Look, it is really exciting. Uh, Ride Hospital has had a long history, a long cultural history of caring for the local community. The staff here have a very close relationship with the local community, but to be able, as a government, to now deliver 21st century health facilities with that cultural, local, caring, loving uh, community of, uh, of hospital doctors, nurses, allied health staff, um, to support the local community is exciting, very exciting. Um, as the Premier just said, he's had a bit of a track record here with uh, Helen and uh, one of his babies, uh, Victor uh, Dominello, the local member. Um, has a track record here in the, in the sense I think he was born here, weren't you? I was born here. But yeah, start, so Victor's got a long history here, very long history here. Um, and uh, I know when we came out and first saw this hospital when I was health minister, it must be about five years ago now, four or five years ago, uh, his mum was here, there were a lot of community members here, and they were all telling us uh, very clearly that uh, we had to find more money. Now, uh, Don was the treasurer, and uh, he was uh, amazing in the sense of giving us the money to do this as part of the overall massive rebuild of uh, hospital structures across this state that uh, is just unprecedented. As the Health Minister for six years, I am so proud of what we've done here in New South Wales. And I think the, the recent uh, COVID pandemic has also emphasised the need to have really modern, uh, well-designed uh, facilities, health facilities across our state. Our state, just remind you, our state was the only one that stayed open uh, during the entire two and a half years of COVID and during those crisis cabinet meetings where uh, I think uh, yeah, Victor and the Premier and uh, Gladys uh, were on the meetings with the Deputy Premier, our, our entire focus was making sure that we could deliver for the people of New South Wales as we went forward. We knew we would get through COVID, although there were some dark moments, 
Um, but we knew also that if we could get the money from the Treasurer, and uh, Don was the Treasurer at the time, to build new facilities and to support what we needed in COVID, then we would get through it. This is another example of now we're getting through it and we're actually at the next stage, building magnificent new hospitals. Everywhere I go, um, right across the state, there are magnificent new hospitals. And that's what a Liberal National Government can do when we, when we manage money well, and we do manage money well. So delivering new hospitals is part of the bargain that we have with our community, uh, and we will continue to do it. The runs are on the board, and we will continue to do it. And to be here today, uh, now with the announcement on the designs, the schematic designs, the early work's about to commence, this is indeed a very, very exciting day for me as Health Minister, but for the whole community, and I'm sure for the local member, uh, and you might like to say a few words. Oh, thank, you. thank you very much, Brad. Uh, look, it is a very exciting day. Uh, not just for me, because I was born in Denison House, so it's very emotional for me and my mum uh, and my sisters, but for everyone in the community. There's so many people uh, that have an experience with Ride Hospital. So many people in the community were born or had kids born in this hospital. This is more than bricks and mortar. This is really an emotional uh, piece for the whole community. And that's why when I was advocating and knocking on uh, Dom's door when he was treasurer. Uh, I was probably a nuisance at the time, I accept that, so I apologise, uh, Premier. But uh, he listened and, more importantly, Dom delivered. Uh, he is delivering for the people of New South Wales and we see it time and time again. And what we see here today behind us is an example of that in action. We've seen it through the schools in our local area, seven new schools or uh, revamped schools with more to come. Uh, an investment, a record investment in terms of Ride Hospital with more to come in terms of the delivery. And hopefully that will be uh, Jordan Lane in the future overseeing that delivery here. But Dom has delivered and I'm, I'm so grateful for him, his capacity as Treasurer but now Premier for supporting this amazing project. I just also want to just thank uh, Bruno and the team at Health Infrastructure New South Wales because uh, they do a phenomenal job right across the state. When you're building 130 health projects across New South Wales, you've delivered 180. We can't do that without the best health infrastructure teams possible. So, Bruno, thanks very much. Questions? Premier, with the revelations that came to light yesterday... Sorry, are there any questions first on the hospital? Okay. With the revelations that came to light yesterday, are you confident of your position... Um, as leader of the Liberal Party? Yes. Have you spoken to your colleagues? Yes. How many of them? Oh, I've had, an, I've had um, a number of colleagues contact me um, over the course of the night and um, I appreciate their support, but ultimately it's not about me uh, in relation to this. It's about um, you know, the, the, the hurt that the mistake I made caused um, many people across our community and I'm terribly sorry for that. Yes. What was, he what was he trying to say? I'm not going into private discussions. As I said, um, uh, this is, you know, what is important here, as I said yesterday, uh, was that I did it. It was a terrible, terrible mistake um, that I made. Um, and as I said, I am incredibly sorry for the hurt um, that that uh, mistake um, that I made uh, when I was 21. Uh, has on have, will have on the community across the state. Premier, 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 Premier. you've apologised to the Jewish community. You've also accused other members of the Labor Party of being anti-Semitic a few years ago. Will you apologise to them now? To sorry to who? In 2017, Shavkat Musulmani and Julia. Yeah, Fee, no, I've, you accused them of being anti-Semitic. I've always, I've always, I've always been, I've always been a strong, a strong. Uh, supporter of the Jewish community and as I said yesterday I'm terribly sorry I'm terribly sorry this is on me it was a mistake that I made and I'm incredibly incredibly sorry uh, for the hurt and pain that that has occurred but you've I, 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 I did it yeah I, 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 yeah I I apologize to anyone um, who has been hurt um, by um, by what I said yesterday and the actions that uh, that, that I took um, those years ago. Um, I am terribly sorry for that hurt. And my hope, my hope um, is that um, some good can come um, from that terrible mistake I made years ago and hopefully uh, it will lead to 
uh, young people never making the same mistake that I did, and that's what I'm focused but on. Has that exposed huge ructions within the Liberal Party, given that this came from within the party? Doesn't this show that things are on shaky ground here and that your colleagues are not all coming together so close to the election? No, it's not about politics. It's about, it, it's about doing what's right. And I have a team out there delivering every day for the people of New South Wales. We are here today releasing the detailed plans of close to a half a billion dollar project Sorry, that will make a real difference to people's Sorry, lives. Tommy, yes, but yesterday you said repeatedly that you thought about this over the course of your career many, yep. many times. You've not said anything ever before. Yep. You're only saying something now because it was raised with you now, 10 weeks out from the election. Yep. Things aren't going out well within your party if this has emerged so close to polling day, surely. Well, I'm not sure, I, I'm not sure of that information. What, I'm sure, what I know is that I did it. And I'm terribly sorry for um, that action those years ago. I'm deeply sorry for the hurt for many people across the community. Um, and as I said, I, I, want their, I want some good, my hope, my, 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 my genuine hope is that good will come of this. Good will come of this. And I hope that no young person across our state now into the future ever makes the mistake that I did. And I was out with the um, meeting with the, Jewish Board of Deputies yesterday and we spoke about education, we spoke about the importance of raising awareness of the atrocities um, that have occurred in the past and our commitment together to ensure they never happen again and one of the best ways of doing that is through education. I'm completely committed to doing that. I have no, no, I have, I have no recollection of that at all. I mean, I mean this is, what, what is important here is that I did it and I said that yesterday, I, I did it. I'm deeply ashamed of it, um, and uh, and uh, I I will do whatever I can to make this good. And I and, and it is my hope. It is my hope that good will come of this, and that's what's most important. Can you give the public a reassurance on your campaign that you're going to be Premier on that day? Yes. Premier, Liberal MPs have told me they believe it would be appropriate for you to call a party room meeting. Will you be calling a party room meeting? What's the matter for the? That's a matter for the members of the party. Yeah. Well, no one has raised. Meeting to discuss with them what yeah, no, no, no one has raised that with me. And, and if they will, I'll, I'll speak to my colleague. If that's a matter for me and my colleague, but no one has raised that with me. Have your colleagues been sympathetic, or have some expressed their embarrassment? And my colleagues, I, I, you know, I've had a, a overwhelming support from my colleagues. But it's not about me. It, it's, it, it's, it's really about making sure that the communities who are, who, who are hurt. Um, by the mistake that I made, um, and that's my focus. My focus is on them right now. It's not on me. Premier, you went to the Sydney Jewish Museum yesterday, yep. which you also had given six million dollars in funding to previously. Yes. What did you learn yesterday that you didn't know 20 years ago? You're talking about raising awareness. Is this just you being contrite before the elections? But not being controlled. I've, I've been. I, I, I think if you ask members of the Jewish community, I've been a very strong supporter um, of the Jewish community um, during um, uh, during my time in public office, um, and I know I know uh, all too well uh, the impact that the, the, the Jewish Museum has on so many young people. Seeing so many school groups go through um, that museum, hearing from Holocaust survivors, telling their own personal stories, um, and whatever we can do to continue to raise awareness of the atrocities of the past that occurred so collectively as a, as a state and as a country, we ensure they don't uh, ever, ever happen again is so incredibly important. And they do uh, incredible work. And um, being with Darren and David yesterday and Rebecca, um, who's worked there for many years, who I, who I, who I know very well uh, also, um, uh, was, was, uh, was, was, was obviously special on, on, on such a very difficult day. But what, what, did it what did it accomplish? Sorry, what did it accomplish? Meeting Jewish leaders, going to the Sydney Jewish Museum, knowing more about the atrocities. How is that different than 20 years ago? Because I know 20 years ago, people knew about the Holocaust and the museum was also around. Yeah, well, I think, it, have you visited the Jewish Museum? Yes. Yeah, and I think if you go to the Jewish Museum and you, and you speak to survivors, it's incredibly important that, and, and special about sharing their stories. Um, I met Eddie Jaku um, uh, before he passed, um, and um, you know, he was he was someone uh, who worked at the museum um, and uh, volunteered at the museum um, and told his story to so many young people. And one of the beautiful things they've done at that museum is film uh, uh, six 
uh, survivors who told their story so young kids can come in um, and ask questions um, and learn. And that's what's most important. The reason I made the investment in, that, uh, in, in the Jewish Museum was because I've seen firsthand the impact um, that that museum has on young people um, across our state. And as I said, um, I, I'm truly sorry uh, for, um, for, for that action and my terrible mistake. Um, when I was 21, um, and I just uh, am focused on now and ensuring um, that, really ensuring um, that people don't make the same mistake that I did all those years ago. It's not about. Um, there was a long time ago. Were any no, I don't. I don't. I don't remember. I don't remember. It was a long. No, it was a long. It, it was a long time ago. It's not about other people. It's not about other people. It, no one was involved. I was involved. It was me. I made a terrible mistake. Were you photographed in the I don't, I don't, no, I'm not, as I said, I'm not aware of a photograph. I'm not aware um, of one, um, that, that it exists. Um, so um, I'm, not, I'm not aware of that. It's not about that. It's about the fact that I did it and, and I'm truly sorry for that mistake that I, that I made and I'm going to make it good. We're doing a great job. I mean, we're taking New South Wales from good to great. Uh, we've transformed uh, what was a state of New South Wales that was going backwards under Labor. We were in a terrible state uh, here in New South Wales when Labor uh, were in power. I know what Labor governments do uh, to, to, to the people of New South Wales. Uh, we have turned it around, building more infrastructure than ever before in our state's history, more schools, more hospitals, more public transport roads that would never have been built because Labor don't know how to manage money well. The economy in New South Wales is incredibly strong. It's our policies that have ensured, uh, particularly on the jobs front. We've had 200,000 more jobs than we had before the pandemic began. We've gone through fires and floods, a pandemic, coming off the back of drought. All of those challenges, we have stood strong with communities across New South Wales. And now the people of New South Wales, as we come into other difficult economic times, are, are, are standing firm, incredibly resilient. And that's because of the policies of the Liberals and Nationals in New South Wales. And we'll fight every day to take our great state and our great people to new heights, because it's only the policies of our government that will ensure that's the case. Are you concerned that this is revenge for your stance on cashless gaming cards? The postal lobby did say that they would target you. Is this political revenge? It's not about that. I'm not, I'm not, but I, I, that, no, I'm not interested in that. I'm not interested in that. What I'm interested in and, and focused on is the people of our state. And I said yesterday uh, that I did it. That's what's important. I made a terrible, terrible mistake when I was 21 years old. And I am truly sorry uh, for that mistake. And I'm focused on ensuring that young people don't make the same mistake that I did raising awareness um, of the horrors of the Holocaust and what occurred during that period of time. Um, and also continuing to focus on delivering for the people of New South Wales with my team. That's what we've done for the last 12 years. That's what we'll continue to do. Last couple, please. No. Is this the news understand there is a store in New South Wales continuing to sell Nazi uniforms and wares? Is, um, what's your view on that? Well, that's illegal. Are you, are you prepared to call them out? Yes, if, if that information came to light, I'll, I'll, I'll raise that with the police. That's illegal. Is this not payback for pre elections? I mean, it, it appears that you're something. I think I've made it quite clear. I think I've made it quite clear. This is about a mistake that I made. This is a mistake that I made and I did it. I'm not interested in other commentary around it. I'm truly sorry for the mistake that I made. And I'll do everything I can uh, to ensure that the hurt in communities across New South Wales is relieved. That is my focus um, as Premier of New South Wales. That's what I said yesterday, and that's what I'll continue to do. Premier, would this last, last question, last question, please. Please. Last uh, question. Would this have emerged if your party wasn't so deeply divided at this point? Once again, we're not. No, our, we, have a, we have a very strong team here in New South Wales, a very strong team that has transformed uh, our, our great state. That's what we've done since coming to office 12 years ago. I mean, as, as the Health Minister said, 130 
new and upgraded hospitals in our term in 180 new and upgraded um, hospitals in our term in government and 130 and 130 on the way a 12 billion dollar infrastructure program we have we are building more hospitals than ever before in our state's history we have the best health system anywhere in the country that didn't happen by accident that happened because our policies and that's what we're focused on and i'd say it's great to be here with our health team today with heather Bruno and the team, and I want to thank them for the work that they do. Thank you. Thanks, guys.